AB calculus and acceleration, velocity, and position problem. A ball thrown in the air has a, an acceleration given by the function a of t equals negative 32 feet per second squared at t equals one second its velocity is 96 feet per second at t equals one second its velocity is 64 feet above ground level. What is the function for the ball's elevation versus time? I hope you can see that this is a function where we are going to go from acceleration, which we designate as, as a of t, to velocity, which we can call v of t, and finally to position, which is sometimes called x of t. So um, as far as velocity, velocity v of t is is equal to the integral of a of t dt and also the position x of t is equal to the integral of the velocity v of t dt so let's go ahead and, and go through this problem. We're going to have uh, V of T now getting into specifics. V of T is equal to the integral of negative 32, which is our given acceleration, dt. And working to the right, that's going to be equal to negative 32 t plus c. So we're going to need to find the constant here, the value of c. And to do that, we're going to take this first condition at t equals 1 seconds velocity of 96 feet per second. So here we put in 96 equals negative 32 t plus c and now uh, finding out solving for t we are given one second let's just go ahead and change this to 32, negative 32 times 1 plus c. And then if we add 32 to both sides of this equation, we get c is equal to 128. So the 128 we put right up here. Let's we'll see. So our v of t is negative 32 t plus 120. Okay. Now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna work to the right now x of t is equal to integral of v of t dt. So we put here negative 32t plus 128, and that's going to be dt. And integrating x of t is equal to negative 32 t squared divided by 2 plus 128 plus c. And that's going to be negative x of t negative 16 t squared 
plus 128t. Yeah, I forgot to put that here. Let's see. Now, um, at one second, it's position 64 feet above ground level. So here we have 64 feet here equals negative 16 times 1 squared plus 128 times 1. Let's see. So we get uh, on the you know, 64 is equal to 128 minus 16. That's going to be 112. Let's see. And subtracting. 112. Let's see, what's that going to be? Let me just see, because uh, you go up 50, that would be 115, would be 48, and negative 48. 2 would be there, negative 48. So we go back up here, and it's going to be our position function. It's going to be x of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 128t minus 48. So I'll be starting below ground level. Well, that's it. I hope this has been helpful to you. Good luck and thanks for being